<laughs> Is that Scott? Yeah. I love Scott. Hey, good man. All right, so listen. So uh, so I cook the meal, and I put it out on the table, and mm. I'll turn my back for one second. And he jumps up and eats it. Up on the table and eating Eat everything from food. burgers All to... Right. What you do is... I've smacked the shit out of her. Oh, <laughs> that's wrong. That's wrong. You got to burn her with no, a cigarette. You never <laughs> hit her outside. No, no, no. Let me tell you what you do. Because you don't know. What? First of all, you never hit a dog. Right. Well, it's, it's you know... It's Listen not to me. Just a hand. No. And, you know, it's not, not necessary and it's cruel. Oh, right. Okay. cruel. Yeah. Really I'll like smack it. you in the head. You tell me if it's cruel. Yeah, you never know. That's what happened up. to him. He got smacked and, in the and, head. And uh, let, me, let me tell you something. That didn't work. What you do in that scenario is... You take the dog when she does it, and you give the firm. Bleh, bleh. Let me hear you do that. <laughs> no. the, the, you see, okay, you don't know how to give a dog no. Now the <laughs> next thing, the dog has to be punished. <laughs> the proper punishment for that is, you take a um, not a leash, you take let's say a rope, not nothing that can strangle the dog as well. I'll show you how to do it, and you take the dog and you put her in a room. Where she can see the family moving about and interacting, but you isolate her. Right, set boundaries. That's right. And she has a five minute period of time there first. You tell her no, you put her in the isolation, and now she knows she did something wrong because she's going to cry to get near the family. She wants yeah, to be around and you. And then guys. she ruins our dinner. We've tried that. Hold on a second. You haven't tried that. You're lying. We have a you crate. Failed. I swear. Not a crate. It can't be a crate. The crate she is her says. den. Listen to me. Okay. I told you what it's got to be. For example, if they, what's the room there? The kids pass through and you pass through. Let's say it's the kitchen or something. Mm -hmm. You would tie her up outside the kitchen, not outside, outside, but in the house. Now she can't be part of the family. She knows she did something wrong. Within five minutes' time, you go back over and you go like this. No! That's not confusing to she, her? No. She understands. Another five-minute time out there with the rope, and then let her out for ten, after ten minutes. She'll stop doing it. That's it. Are you, you going to try it? And are you going to get your no down? Don't smack the dog. Don't fuck the dog in the ass. I mean, you're, what you're up to, I don't know. No, what? I just, I, I'll smack her, and she'll no. know. No she goes smack. away. Is it working? Oh, she'll it's not working. Well, what does no. work? I, I can see that it. she knows, because she'll sit there and look at me and sneakily go over towards the table. I run over towards her. She stops and cowers. And then I'll walk yeah. away, and then she just gets it, and she'll take her punishment. I throw her outside. The punishment isn't working. I guess it's not. A smack yeah. doesn't hurt her. What Let she me wants. Hear you practice your my, wife, my wife has this fucking uh, water bottle. She'll just squirt the dog. <laughs> the, the that, I, that's know. a cat thing. That, that's, a, that's a dog thing, too, Where but it? uh, it's, that's a pussy move. That's Let me hear you practice work. your no. No, Cookie. Is that it? No, no, no. <laughs> hey, you got to like go more gutter like this. No! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see you get mad. Get mad. You're making your dog's face. Get mad. No! Ah. You sound like a chick. That's better. I, I, I thought it was easy. Work on that. In other words, make big movements. You can't be half-assed when you right. are leading a pack of dogs. Calm, okay. assertive. Assertive and f force. Force. And don't you have to be consistent? Absolutely. He's Once all you're over not. the place. Yeah. This guy shares a slice of pizza with his dog. I love my no. dog. What, what do they, what's up shares? with his dog? Uh, what do you mean? You bite and real? he bite? You do that? Yeah, no. that's what he told me. He told what me he, he shared do? a slice of pizza with his dog. Never. No wonder the dog's confused. No, the dog was I, I, I'll the other thing. There are people who are assholes. They I have not dogs. given a one table scrap. Well, that's smart. Now, yeah. if you want a dog that begs, then you table. table scrap. They will stay by your side while you eat and, and salivate mm -hmm. and wait for scraps. If you want a dog that never bothers you while you eat and, uh, and, and never, ever begs, will ignore you while you eat. Never ever give them food. And no. if you got some shit stain who comes over your house for dinner and starts feeding him under the table, take Ugh. the guy and fucking beat the shit out of him. <laughs> That's the guy you hit. Because you gotta live with the dog, not him. That's right. Right. Here's another problem. Now, hold on a second. All right. Now my wife, she feeds the dog table scraps. Uh oh. Oh. Now, this dog, so when I got this shit dog... shit stain. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> she made the decision that she wants that. I didn't want that. Uh, but it's her dog, too. And I said to her, you start feeding that dog, don't let me hear you complain when the dog begs, because you're going to have a beggar of a dog. I didn't want a beggar of a dog. Right. But now I got one. So it was she beg you as well? Absolutely. Uh, and guess what I do? What? I give her table scraps. I'll oh, tell you why. Oh, I'll why? tell you why. Okay. Because the decision was made... To give her table scraps. Yep. Therefore, fine. I'm not going to be a bad guy. But right. if it had been up to me, it never would have happened. And I don't have a problem with that. Uh, 
I don't believe in it. If I was living alone with a dog, the dog would never be a beggar. Dog wouldn't even know what it, my, the concept of me eating and begging would be. Wouldn't exist. I know what Duke, we gave him table scraps all the time, and he got so fat that it right. cut his life short, I'm sure, well, of by course. two years. But you killed that dog. You killed Duke. Wow. <laughs> with love. <laughs> yeah. But I, so here's my with shitty raviolis. Right, that's enough with dogs, but uh, what, what do you need to know? What's your problem? She, the dog's in the crate overnight. She's fine. Right. She's downstairs. When I just start walking upstairs in the morning, she just starts barking and yapping and going crazy, waking everyone up. What, what did I teach you how to do? I can't scold her at 4 a.m. Not scold. One firm. <laughs> <laughs> you got to uh, work on that. Get your shit together. You're and, a man. Really, right. And it's not now. Do, do me a favor. Learn to bark. Pull your pants on. I want to see if you have a penis. I'm right? acting like a woman. Get out of here. What about Artie? Don't, my show. don't you think Artie's weird that he doesn't like dogs like that? A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people don't like dogs. I'll tell you why Artie isn't weird. He, he doesn't get no, one. He, that's right. He, do, he, he understands <laughs> that he doesn't like dogs. The shit stains that I can't stand are the ones that don't like dogs, and they get them anyway. And then they abandon them. Right. They don't know they don't like dogs. Right. The guy knows he don't like dogs. That's fine. And I, I actually t I told Dana, I said, that's going to be a major thing. Like, if the dog's alone with me, don't expect me to do shit with it. Right. <laughs> right. You know, so hard to believe. Have you ever had a dog? No. Well, I, uh, my old man loved dogs. My mother was like Howard's mother. But never, uh, animals are not in the house. There are people <laughs> who have very difficult time not only showing emotion and love toward human beings, but a lot of them need to start with a dog. You'll read many books about guys who are like Artie, who for some reason or another get involved with a dog, and they have to learn to love. They have to learn to love something. And, and they learn they on the dog? They learn on the dog. So maybe listen, you should try that. Uh, listen, no. Because, seen a hot because dog? it would be unfair to the dog. It, it, Artie is not capable right now of loving a dog. I, I, am, I don't get a dog because I, I have compassion for them. Right. He <laughs> That's actually the truth. And he's <laughs> right. He's right. He would feel guilty because he would ignore the dog, and he knows the dog needs love. Listen, I think enough with he the would dogs. have a friend there all the time. No, he, he's got a friend. It's called heroin. Heroin. All right, get out. <laughs> now, you, yeah, you're not a psychiatrist. Sometimes psychiatrist. heroin will want table scraps, mm -hmm. and I'll go, no! <laughs>contract should be honored yeah and also about the dog advice i received a uh, email from sam simon who works with animals and mm -hmm. said i was 100 percent correct that uh, you should never hit your dog he said um as one of the nation's largest providers of free certified assistance dogs for the deaf i must comment on your theories of dog training howard you are unequivocally 100 percent correct hitting your dog accomplishes nothing and the methods you described are the ones my trainers use for dogs that achieve the most elite level of training Furthermore, I wonder why someone like Scott DePace would even get a dog. It appears that DePace, like his right-wing politics, is cruel and without empathy or compassion. I've heard that even Hitler was nice to his dog. <laughs> Sadly, the same cannot be said of Scott DePace. Yes, yeah, DePace said on the wrap-up show he would continue doing whatever he described yeah, here yesterday, and then in about a month it would work. Yeah, and, and even like Jason said to me, isn't that a sign of low intelligence that, you know, <laughs> you gave him some really good advice, he asked for advice, and he just can't absorb it. He right. can't, he can't. The Sam Simon Foundation will be happy to rescue Scott DePace's dog <laughs> and find it a loving forever home. Oh. Where they don't hit. Yeah, where well, they don't hit. It, hitting a dog, right, Fred? You've got dogs. No, dude, you just don't do that. It's like, yep. you know, it just, it just makes them crazy, and it doesn't change the behavior. It just makes them afraid of you. Right. You know what? I was thinking more about how you said to react to a dog with the no, no thing. And, like, my, my old man was great with dogs. And when he would have to go in a person's house to, like, you know, do their antenna or something... He was never afraid of a dog, and he would make the exact noise you made if a right. dog was coming at him. And the fucking dog always listened to him. He would go, no, like that, and the dog would just stop. I was once in Vermont. I was running by myself on right. the, in the hills of Vermont. And uh, I, I, I came upon a pack of five dogs who were ferocious. They were barking at me. They were looking aggressive and all of this. You by yourself? Uh, I was by myself. <laughs> and I knew two things. Number one. Uh, if you're going to put your hand down to let them, uh, if you, you're going to try and sort of let them smell you and see, you know, what's going on, All right. you make a fist. Mm. Because in an aggressive dog, if the dog goes to bite you, you jam your fist down his throat, mm -hmm. and he'll never bite again. Trust right. me. Right. Secondly, wow. right. uh, I looked, <laughs> but I didn't even go that far. I looked yeah. at the pack of dogs. I gave them a really firm look, and I went, <clears throat> Yeah, that works. <clears throat> They, sh they just walked away. Yeah, that was it. That's exactly what my that's old it. man used to do. That's it. 
That happened to me once. I was a little girl walking to school, and this one family had a vicious dog. Right. And they used to let the dog out early in the morning because you couldn't let the dog out any other time. Yeah. And most of the time they'd have it back in by the time the kids were walking to school, but sometimes they were a little late. And I was like, please don't look. You know how you're you're walking and you're scared, and you say, mm. don't look at that porch because the dog might be on it. Mm-hmm. And for some reason or other, as soon as I got to that porch, I turned and there was the dog and he started to come <laughs> oh. charging at me off the porch. And I, I gave, I guess I growled just like that. Right. <laughs> and he turned around and ran back up on the porch. That's scary Absolutely. shit, man. <laughs> yeah. Scott, you were busted by the audience. What about, uh, oh, I should mention, Beth is in the middle of writing a book. Yes. Uh, called Oh My Dog, mm-hmm. and it's going to be like one of those books. Well, everything that I wish I had known before I got my first dog. Wow. Yeah, so she's doing a ton of research. In fact, our, our good yeah, friend... Yeah, I could have used that book when I got my first dog. That oh, can I give a shout-out? Oh, yes. yeah, everybody <laughs> is telling me this lately. I want to give a shout-out to Mike Gaffney. Yes. And uh, congratulate him on the new arrival of Nina, a German shepherd that he adopted at North Shore Animal mm. League ah, two days ago. Wow. Yeah, beautiful dog. I was instrumental in, in hooking that up, and they're happy, and I'm so happy. And Yeah. And uh, I said to him, I, I just uh, wrote him an email, and I said, you know, you got that new dog. You ought to, you know, get a trainer, and you ought to know yes. this, that, and the other thing. That's and a he, big dog. And he said, uh, yeah. He said, I wish I had Beth's book now. So he asked you a bunch of questions. and uh, Well, you know what? He was lucky enough to be at North Shore for a few days. He visited the dog, then went back with the boys and picked up the dog. So he got a lot of knowledge from the staff at North Shore, who yeah. who is who are contributing hugely to my book, actually. Tell them Mike Malloy. that if anybody has a question about their dog, they should write to Beth. No, no, no. That's Tell not, them I say that's, it wrong? Yeah, I don't want to get bombarded with a bazillion <laughs> questions. Right. I'm focusing right now on my bonding chapter, and I thought it would be fun to have the audience email me what they do special to bond with their dog. My morning time is when I bond with Bianca when Howard goes to work. We take a walk, and then we go to... It's a couple stores on the where we live, and everybody knows Bianca. We get a treat at the dry cleaner, so that's our bonding time. Some people snuggle with their dog an hour before their husband gets to bed. Right. There's so many fun things that I thought it would be a really cool chapter to include people's bonding time with their dog, what they do. So if you can contribute and would like to contribute to my book, email me your, like just a couple sentences, right. to um Beth O oh my dog at gmail dot com. How do you say that? Beth O oh my dog at gmail dot com. Yep. And what is it? Beth O H my dog? Either will work. Beth O oh my dog. Either O okay. H or Beth O oh my dog at gmail dot com. Yeah. Our director's got the pace bonds with his dog by beating her. I know. He hits, oh, he, I started to say that and I said maybe you, that should not be brought up again. <laughs> would you include that in the book? Uh he likes to uh like how roll to up. bond and how not to bond. He likes, I'm not to, even roll, gonna include he it likes to roll something up and give a firm <laughs> whack. It's Ooh, like how Joe Jackson used to nose. bond with Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, did you see the, in the, the paper today about the elephant? Yeah. I'm yeah. sickened. Yeah. Yeah. I'm having the worst morning. That's what is that? You know I don't I, 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 I'm believing that you don't. I Absolutely. smack the dog every once in a while. You smack the dog. Like this, like this. I go. A major, no. a ma- major thread of my book is positive reinforcement. I've been speaking a lot with Tamara Geller, who's an amazing trainer. Yeah, shithead. Greg Cleva, um, who actually has a show on XM Serious. Um, positive reinforcement works. You don't have to yell at your dog. You don't have to hit what your dog. What do I do when she jumps up on the table, grabs my phone, and starts chewing it? You know what? You need to get a professional behaviorist the... or trainer to work with you and your dog. Yeah, but my way sort of works. I mean, you know, when, when you give... probably scared shitless of you. No, 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 no. When you give some negative reinforcement, it makes the positive no, that much scared. more positive. No, they're He's afraid every time he comes near you that he's going to get waxed. That's no. He's afraid of That's not true. Do you do that? She do you loves do that me. With every your... morning, I, I swear to God, I do this every morning. Before I leave, I go sit on the couch. She jumps up on top of me, and I hug her. And She's she afraid loves if she me. doesn't, you're going to whack her. That's <laughs> not true. What right. about your children? Do you do the? Do you spank your children? I would if they did something major wrong, but um, no, they, they, know, they see what happened to the dog. Yeah. So they know <laughs> they they know know like, what if your kids did something wrong, like be gay? No. If they like Party. stole something, I would. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd hit. I'd the taser sure. them. You tell me you, you, you shot their balls. <laughs> <laughs> I put one of those invisible collars on. I think the thing is, you might have 
what you feel is the best way, but there are many different ways. She's not even saying. She's just saying what you're doing is wrong. She's not and even telling you what to do. Who's the really say, though? Who's oh, the really come say? on. How could it be right there at the dog? Because I've had many dogs. Does she cower every time you lift your hand up? She's starting to do that. <laughs> Yeah. Scott. Just like your no. wife. <laughs> Listen, the dog is great. And, Scott, uh, did you just hear what Beth asked you? What? You, she said to you, does the dog cower when you lift your hand? And she's starting no. to do that. Uh, how and, The and circumstances of that are she's jumping up on the table, okay, to trying to eat our food. Right. And I'll just come up and I go, cookie, and I'll just raise a hand. And she knows and she gets down. So it worked. That's the bottom line. Cookie? <laughs> yeah. <that's>... <laughs> <laughs> Down cookie. My son named me. Sorry. But, uh, uh, do your kids see you do that? They do. Yeah, yeah. they have. Okay. Sad. <laughs> I'm sad. Listen, but it's so sad. I'm sad, too. I've got a dog who Can loves her Can we get the dog home. taken away from him? She loves her home. <laughs> Can we get his kids taken away from him? I feed her very well. We play out back. She's having Does a great Pam life. Does Pam hit cookie? She has when she really <laughs> pissed her off. <laughs> but wow. uh, she doesn't do it, you know... What? She maybe you. wants her Out your wife, yeah. now, why don't you? She don't have a good punch, though. <laughs> you guys are like crack dealers. Hey, by the way, while we're at it, uh, Gary Shocks' his dog. Yeah. He uses well, he that fence. Fence. Yeah. I don't believe in those at oh, all. No, wait a minute. You necessary. don't seem as negative to that. I mean, I say, I said I don't believe in it's that at all. It's worse than hitting, right? I, I, don't, worse. I don't say it's worse or better. I just don't believe in shocking your dog. I heard a statistic, right, and, you know, Beth will address everything in her book, but... I heard a statistic that uh, almost half the dogs that are exposed to electric fences can uh, potentially turn into what they call a bad dog. In other words, a dog that almost has to be destroyed because what? it drives them crazy, changes their whole personality, they start to bite, it makes them literally yeah. mental. It's like a bad acid trip. Yeah. So how could that be right? Why doesn't he just buy a regular fence? I think hitting the dog is just uh, an easy way out. In other words, you could, you could train a dog a lot of other ways. Do you but brush I... Cookie's teeth? No. No, that adds on at least up to five years of a dog's life if you keep their teeth clean. I'll just get another one. I, I, mm. Really? Yeah. Dental Rushing. disease can, can go right to I mean, there. Duke died when he was uh, 12. It was mostly from overeating. I think we fed him too many tables. So, so with Cookie, we haven't given her, I think, maybe two pieces of bread. Beth is saying if you don't brush the dog's teeth, they, it leads to infections, and the infections can take years off their life. I say brush your dog's teeth. Right. Well, Scott's already punched out all her teeth, so you just have to worry about that. I can't see myself. Uh, I don't know what Scott does to the dog, but when I go over there, whenever Scott lights a cigarette, the dog runs away. Oh, Wait, Cookie, stop. Cookie's on the phone. Hold on a second. Hi, uh, Cookie, how are you? Yeah, Cookie, do me a favor. If you hate Scott, bark twice. Okay. Do you like when Scott... Um, let me ask you this. When Scott hits you, do you just want to kill him? Bark twice if it's yes. Yeah, okay, there you go. Cookie, did you not have a great time yesterday with me throwing the ball up back? Did you have a good time? Bark once for no. Okay, that's what I thought. There it is. She <laughs> seemed like she liked it yesterday. From Cookie's mouth. Uh, Cookie, do you think Lisa G is a 32C? <laughs> no. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Cookie, has got a good lay? <laughs> but wait. No. <laughs> Wait. Seriously, though, how is it that you think... Well, I would cook it now. Come, come on. <laughs> Please, Robin. No, we don't want to get into it. Obviously, no... Uh, hey, Scott, I have an idea. My good friend, Greg Cleva, who is... Uh, Everyone keeps would, offering no love, one's come through yet. Well, listen to what I, she's I saying. Go, he's All a friend right. of mine. He's been contributing to my book. I, I'm promising that he would work with your dog. Okay. I, I would like to see it change. I mean, uh, see any difference but I, I think she's doing a lot better now she still jumps up on the table but you're and... still hitting her you're you're hitting her if she's Dude, what if what else. if scott starts hitting greg the trainer <laughs> greg can handle it he can. why don't you get scott a stylist look work. at that shirt how is it shut up listen to you <laughs> how is it that you think i mean you're obviously no one's been able to speak to a dog how do you know that this is listen, the best scott Way. i had a labrador retriever yeah <laughs> And the, the, the dog would uh, occasionally uh, jump up on the counter and grab uh, bread Food, yeah. off there. Never had to hit the dog. If you, what all trainers say is if you catch the dog in the act, because that's the only time you understand anyway, you can give a firm no. You can, you can praise the dog when she gets down. 
and say good girl and all that. And they will respond the same way to a smack, but that takes more time and more patience. They're looking for praise, so praise when they're doing the right That's thing. That's right. Yeah, Michael Vick. Who, who, I don't understand. <laughs> like, let's, who's to let's say that this no? Year. Let who's me to say get that my no, Greg it doesn't hurt their voice? Why can't you listen to Beth and end it here and wait for Greg? All right, Ronnie you're the limo open. driver. You're open to... Sure, okay. absolutely. Uh, right. Ronnie the limo Done. driver, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to tell you a quick story about shock collars. Yeah. Um, when I got my dog, we got, we got a trainer because he's very hyperactive. and. Yeah. So he said, these kind of dogs are good to train with a, with a shock collar. I right. said, okay, I didn't know any better. Right. So we put a shock collar on him. Right. An hour into the training with the shock collar, the dog freaked out. Right. <laughs> totally <laughs> freaked out. He went, he ran in the house. We were working outside with him yeah. in the street, and he ran in the house. He sat in the corner and wouldn't move for a whole day. Oh, wow. I mean, is it, where'd you get this trainer from, Auschwitz? <laughs> no. Nah. I mean, where, where, do you, where do you find a trainer that works with a shock collar? Rex Marshall, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of them do. A lot of them wow. trainers work with shock collars. Are you kidding collars. me? Yeah. That's insane. And I, I said to him, It was I the dog mangler. I, I don't want a dog that's going to be like a zombie because his dogs were trained that way. He was shown, he'd bring his dogs wow. with him and they were like zombies. You'd look at them and you'd look, you could see like oh. looking straight through their eyes like there was nothing going Sad. on. It really know? is. Uh, a, a cookie. Is it true that your owner, Scott, has a dog rape stand at his house? Oh, oh my gracious. Cookie, uh, yes, he says uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Cookie, does he put a wig on you make it look like Britney Spears? <laughs> See? See what he's up to? It's very I don't sick. even like joking about this. Yeah, but <laughs> I like when she I make a joke. She can't even look at me now. Yeah. I, 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 I've always God. loved, I, I love you, Scott, and you and Pam are wonderful. I love your children. I love the whole thing, but it really bothers me that you hit the dog. But... But again, let's enough said. Let us take care. Let I, me take help you. So what would happen if you came over to the house? I too? am not come. Oh, do you want me to come over too? <laughs> and you saw me hit her once. What? Oh, like my, you would, I, oh my! I can't God. even see that. I can't even tell you what I would do. Bring in a tape of it. But Dog. you realize she never has yelped when it, it's not. I don't even think it hurts. Dogs don't I like it. If she's cowering when you lift up your no, hands. No, she's not cowering. She gets down like. Oh, she, you know, know what? Okay, works, I hear you. You think you're yeah. doing the right thing. There are other ways to right. do this, and I'm going to help show you right. how with right. the help All of Greg. Right. Hey, Cookie. Uh, uh, hey, Cookie. Is Scott a good golfer? Now I have to go buy <laughs> a bra <laughs> to go to the debate <laughs> house. He came in here and got a bunch of to write my damn Why do Why do you Why do you have to have my wife at your house? No, 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 no. I was just saying if she were there i wanted to see how she would oh. react to me doing that whether she would no run away don't do that in or... front of her i'd hit you <laughs> all right let's Beth, go you have to... time to help me pick out some shoes <laughs> yeah i mean it, now you're going with lisa g now you're it's got the paces i mean you come in here it's like it's a charity work. saving the world robin, robin, uh, robin you want to go to dinner with me next you don't have time. Do you think, i love doing honey, that honey do you think psychologically scott could be jealous of his dog's hair <laughs> like that the, yes. That the dog has a full head of hair and he has nothing. Yeah. Do you think that's possible? Is it possible to be jealous of one's dog? I think so. I think that's what's going on here. There are people that tell me that in their next life they hope to come back as Bianca. Right. Oh yeah. How do you? Th but here's the one. If I were to come home, she would run all over me and love me and, and, and lick me and. Well, you I know, mean, Hitler. Uh, the the Jews are very would, forgiving. What, 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 when he was executing Jews, there were probably some that would would go up to him and say, "Oh, hello, Mr. Hitler." Like try to beg him for forgiveness. Or, I have a better you're example. You're like a Hitler to dog. Honey, Thanks for your life. Let's yeah. just take the example of Liza, the puppy bone rescue mother, who was she had her teeth hammered out. She was living in a cage for seven years someone cut off her folds with scissors uh -huh. of, on yeah. her face right oh. she is the most gentle docile dog i've ever loving been in the presence people. of loving of people she is forgiving she is still has not an aggressive bone in her body so in other she words, was treated the worst that she a dog so, could be treated well it sounds to me like it doesn't hurt loving. them then she's still oh, that's your oh, oh my god <laughs> let me tell you let me tell you this story scott because you're not getting it so beth does uh you long, moron. I long island uh <laughs> bulldog it. rescue there's a lovely woman lorette who runs this thing and beth's involved with it they uh get a hold of this dog this beautiful English well north bulldog. shore animal league actually rescued got, got the puppy mill rescue in missouri and um brought this to my attention that there was an english bulldog that came from this puppy mill and so i brought my friend lorette richin to um the north shore animal league right and so when they found the dog all of the teeth had been hammered out of its head and i've met this dog beautiful dog uh, hammered out of its head. It was kept in a breeding cage for its entire life, never let out of the her cage. Her eyes out of her socket. Oh. They, they knocked the eye out of her wow. socket. Someone had ripped her folds up using her as a bait dog because she's so docile and sweet. And with all of this being done to her by humans, 
She is the friendliest, warmest, non-aggressive dog you've ever seen. And and so Beth's point is that no matter how bad the abuse, dogs are genetically sort of engineered to be man's best friend. So you don't need to do that stuff. All right. I, and I would never do any of those All right, things. Listen, enough with you already, <laughs> Scott DeVic. But isn't it, <laughs> like, it seems like it doesn't hurt them if, if that's what comes out of that don't story. Don't say do, it seems like it doesn't oh hurt God. them. You're out of your See, mind. he's backward. This is how we argue no, politics. You're totally. starting to sound stupid. No. In other words, my dog, if I smack her and it doesn't hurt her and she still loves me, what is Scott. the downside? Scott, it's let me smack you. It. That's it's it's, 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 It'll hurt me. You sound no. like Mike Turner. Have to deal with you can't even talk to him. Honey, there's no arguing with that. I swear, it, does, it feels like I'm from a different place than you guys. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are definitely coming from, from Jersey. Place. Honey, you're disgusted right now, huh? What? I'd be. <laughs> what? This is, uh, let's... You have to see now. I'm demanding she comes over to see how it's great a dog it is. You can't demand that my wife my comes over. My dog loves me. It's a great, loving family. Who we gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out of here. Hey, Beth, uh, when you're done with that, could we go spray tanning? Um, <laughs> do you know who else has been contributing? TV, you know, Beth was in here the other day. Beautiful. She looked beautiful, but she looked pissed at me. Absolutely. At what point? Uh, after all the Scott uh, Scott stuff, and then uh, how I ran and raving about her going away for a month. No, I didn't think she was pissed at me. I think she was pissed. She, you at didn't Scott. have any trouble this weekend. No, it just looked like she was quite angry with. No, as a matter of fact, uh, we made love several times. Nice. Uh, now, right. My next question: If you masturbated all weekend because of it, but I guess. And as a matter of fact, uh, not only was she not mad at me, we also heard that as a result of that conversation, Scott DePace has started working with this dog trainer. Uh, he also has a show here at Sirius. I don't know the guy's name. Do you know it? No. Maybe somebody can get me that. But he started working with the dog trainer, and I hear it's uh, not going so great. You know. What do you mean? Well, <laughs> DePace said, well, now he told me not to hit my dog. But the way it goes is, oh, yeah. uh, he st instead of hitting the dog, he told me to throw a bean bag at him, and now, and now I've been taking the, and now I'm taking the bean bag and hitting the dog with it. Oh, stop it! What yeah, are you talking it, about, Scott? The, what's the going bean on? The bean bag is right here. It's filled with chains. Right. And basically, to get the dog's attention, you throw it down on the ground. Right. Oh, not and at it, the dog. No, that was at first. <laughs> he threw it at the ground, right next to the dog. The dog jumps and gets scared. Right. Cookie then picked up the, the thing and started running around the house with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then he took another one through. It didn't work. So then he threw one at her feet and hit her on yeah. the feet. He meant to do that? Yeah. Good. I said, that's all right. He said, absolutely. If, if she's not responding, wow. you got to do what you got to do. Well, maybe she's right. been so poorly trained oh, bull crap. beforehand <laughs> that been trained to be drastic <laughs> measures have to be taken. And he said positive reinforcement alone does not work. <sighs> And, hold on, and he also said... Uh, His name is Greg Cleaver, by the way. Yeah, Go Greg ahead, Cleaver. Yeah. Go ahead. Bark Busters. The guy was great, and it started to work, actually. Right. Right. So, but he's got me growling at the dog, <laughs> almost like you were saying, <laughs> with the no... Okay. Right. No, mine is... Arr, I, oh. I gotta growl well, at the really dog. You're really talking dog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and everything's about dominance, so... If she wants to go out, I have to go out first and then let, and then let her out. Right. When I feed her the food, put it down and make her stay there until I say it's ready. Right. If she comes up wants to be pet, you don't pet her. You then go up a couple minutes later and pet her when it's on your turn. So, right. You know, it seemed like it's working and stuff, but uh, you know, again, he had he had, about the negative. All right. So all right. So he said so that uh, you can, uh, but not to hit the dog. No, I mean, he said w what happens when people hit the dog is, is a lot of times he sees negative relationships come out of it. Right. But it's not always the case, and, and it certainly hasn't been So he day. recommended that you not hit the dog. Yeah. All right, so yeah. there you go. You're doing good. Yep. I'm glad you, uh, you know, because I thought he was untrainable. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think you're untrainable. Look at, uh. All right, so there it is. And I got to figure it's going to turn around at some point. People got to drive something. You can't drive that shitty car you're driving now. <laughs> got to turn around. Got to turn around is right. The car's five years old. <laughs> uh, what else, Lisa? Well, Scott left the room, but there's more with Mr. DePace. He tells Howard 100 News that despite two sessions with dog trainer Greg Cleva, he still wouldn't hesitate to hit his dog Cookie oh, if the situation geez. called for it. That's just being a shithead. He says it's a lot of work training Cookie, and so far he hasn't had the time. No. He said there will be a third session, though. Hard work doesn't interest Scott.
But he, again, she's she's wrong. I it, it, I I recorded right in your microphone. Didn't you listen? I did. I said I have not hit the dog since. Right, but, but she would. If that's what she just she reported. did something terrible. Say there was a I don't know What's something terrible? I'm working on. I don't know. Say um. Something that I prized, uh, I valued very much, and she grabbed it and started running with it. If I had to get it, I'll do whatever I have to. I don't believe <laughs> that hitting your dog in the ass with with not a fist, with an open hand, and not so hard that she yelps, I don't believe that hurts the dog at all. Okay. Well, there now, you Now, whether are. it's not a good training tool, I don't know. How do you know? Are you know. a dog? How, How do, you do you know? Are you a dog? I'll tell you what I could do. I could hit you on your ass with my hand. Tell me if it hurts. <laughs> You want to tell me? <laughs> no. Pull your pants off since, no. you know, they don't have clothes. But, again. Let me hit you all over the ass with my hand and tell me if you've told me if it when hurts. did you be, but still, it's, it's, I, it's supposed to hurt a little bit. It's, oh, it's supposed, supposed to. to. Okay. They can't talk. So should, so should someone hit you? Dogs can't talk. So, so when you do something I don't like, can I hit you on the ass? No, because I could talk. Why? You could tell me. Yeah, but, but if you don't I listen. I understand your language. What if you do language. something and you don't listen? <laughs> if you really don't listen. No, that's you please that's give me different. permission to, to No, whack because you. when you talk, I can you. certainly comprehend. When I say no. to my dog, don't grab why that you sneaker. Why can't you be hit? I've told you not to do because things. Because there's and better ways, done. because I'll, I'll hit uh, back. You, you, you take me at the wrong angle sometimes. Can I hit you when I don't like my camera angle? You want to get hit back. Oh, so now I have to get hit back, so your yeah. dog can't hit you back. So what if the dog bit you back? <laughs> right. Yeah, so the Listen. only reason you hit the dog and is she because it can't hit back. Right. Oh, you guys are all so righteous. No, if the you dog can hit back, exactly you wouldn't be hit hitting anybody. <laughs> That's just the point. She bites me every once in a while. That's oh good. Keep teaching the dog to bite you. I'm not teaching her. She She's playing, but she's it hurts. She's biting you because, because no, you're not. hitting her. I think your wife is teaching the dog to bite you. <laughs> you know, ten years ago you were so anti-dog. Now right. all of a sudden but you're the dog expert. Dogs. I'm not an expert. I know I've never hit my dog. I've never hit any animal. I've never hit a dog. Well, I, don't I just don't. And that dog <laughs> obeys everything I say and does everything I tell it to do. Oh, I Doesn't bet you yeah. have anything. Yeah, let's have a competition. I'll get my dog to do more things than you can with that no, dog. No, no, you don't hear what I'm saying. My dog's never done anything where I've had to hit it. Because she can't do anything. She's small. She can't get up on lab. the table. I had a black lab. I never hit my dog. Yeah. yeah. And she didn't grab food or do anything like that. She did some things like that. But yeah. we taught her not to. There's, there's training methods. Yeah, there is, and I agree. Greg is, Bark Busters is great. He came over, the dog did exactly what he, he wanted yeah. her to, but, but you can't I do don't it. have the time to spend well, all that. So, so you're then hitting you the dog. You shouldn't have a dog. You got a dog, right. you have a responsibility. No, I'm Bark happy Buster. with my dog you're the way happy, it but is the now. Dog isn't. The dog's getting beaten. The dog's very happy. How do you know? She just got, because we went to the beach, she was at a, a shelter or whatever, a, a person's home. So you know you're like a wife abuser. The dog came home and the dog a good times jumped until all over hit her fucking face. The dog jumped all over Had a nest on that fun until she got smacked around. You know, there were a lot of good times, too. She was really Look out. <laughs> yeah, Nicole and OJ were doing great really? until they killed her. Uh, really whatever, man. It, right. it's, I think she's a great dog. <laughs> yeah. What's the Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, uh, OJ. You're I welcome. Mean, anything I else that I'm going to have to refute? Mm-mm. You got anything? No. No. Right. It's a dog, you're OJ. And uh, you apologize to Lisa because she reported it absolutely correctly. No, she didn't. She, she did. She, what she what said, did you say? Exactly. You said that... Uh, I wouldn't hesitate. That the only thing she said was, "I would not hesitate to hit the dog." Beating and that the is horse. a part of what I said. I said it in conjunction with. With. I have not hit her since. Right. The training yeah, but started. But you won't hesitate. That's what she said. You won't hesitate. But it, I said under yeah. a very extreme right. circumstance. So I, she reported it correctly. Yes, she did. She reported okay. half the truth. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Please go direct the show. <laughs> no, I want to stay there. I like right. it. Go half direct it. Hit him. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't get mean? in there and direct them, I have to hit you on the ass. <laughs> we got it. Right. <laughs> yeah, Kenny, you're on the air. I just want to say what a wrong piece of shit uh, the pace is on so many levels. A dog beater, a homophobe, his politics are for shit. He's the most, and, and whenever you try and engage him, whenever anybody tries to engage him in his uh, character flaws, he just deflects. He can't talk about the subject. He got to put it back on you. Why do you keep him around? Is he that good at his job? Yes, I am, asshole. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You are so you, you beat your dog. I don't beat my dog. Sure you do. You, you, I don't. You just, well, you hit the dog. Yeah. No. <laughs> and so does, so does probably half the rest of the country. Doesn't no, make it right. No, no, no. That doesn't make it right at all. A lot of people wouldn't let black people uh, drink from a water fountain. It's your opinion. 
Yes. Doesn't mean they were right. It is your opinion I that that, that is argument. wrong. Yeah. Everybody does it. Yeah. You can't be accountable for what you do. You Listen, gotta, you gotta, it's your opinion that it's not an opinion. that hitting your dog every once in a while when she does hitting bad. Hitting your dog isn't good. It's, I don't every, punch every her in trainer, the face. Every trainer <clears throat> agrees that that's not the accepted way. That is way. not true. The, Show Art me Buster's, a trainer that agrees with hitting Greg, the dog. Greg Cleva said no. He would not hit the dog, right. but he certainly would use negative reinforcement. That's a different story. I, I've used negative reinforcement. I've said no. I've said I've I've uh, thrown down a, a can of pennies or what you use a beanbag kind of thing to say no, but not at the dog. You throw it at the dog. You, well, that's you what he improvise. did. He threw a bag no, of chains at he didn't the dog's hit the dog. feet. Yeah, he hit at her the feet. feet. Yeah, he didn't hit the feet. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. I am not lying. He did. All right, all right. Thank you. I'm done with this. Yeah, tell this guy to shut up and I'll leave. Oh, Violence my. is never an option. <laughs> would, would you hit your kid uh, if you he was homosexual? What happened? Would you hit your kid if you found No, him? that's yeah. retarded. That's ridiculous. This is not based on everything you've uh, presented yourself to be. What's your life like? If your kid was homosexual you and, you, turn it on me. and yeah, you thought I want to know about I want to know what makes these opinions that you have. All right, all right, listen, guys. It's, who cares? Call me off the air. Yeah, I'll give you an hour show. You can talk to that guy. But there's no, no way Scott would touch a gay guy. No. All right. <laughs> Scott wants to throw a beanbag at that kid's feet who just called in. I throw a beanbag at a gay guy, too. <laughs> I want to hit him on his butt. And then I'll punch my TV because Bill Maher's on it. <laughs> going to cancel because of Bill Maher's politics. <laughs> Brian, you're on the air. The show. Fred, I went to the commercial break. You can get our address. I think it's safe for you to have our address. Yeah, you just hand it to me. Yeah. He handed it to you? Say he could hand it to me to put in your bag. Right. Else that, Why does he have more, to hand it to wouldn't me? Wouldn't that be even more impersonal? Can I at least hand deliver the No, but Scott, a card, like a gift you give to people, a card you don't hand deliver. To, you can give it to Gary. Okay. Everyone wants access. It's a, Jesus, you're crazy. <laughs> oh, you're Let's see this card. Now that's uh, Duke, right? No, Duke has gone. Duke died. That's Cookie. How old was Duke when he died? Duke was like uh, 10. See, that's not real old for a, a lab. I, you know, I, I, the dog the... wanted to go. Will yes. told me it's because he abused the dog. You probably uh, killed him. The dog him. wanted to go. He just yeah. said, I have to get out of here. Somehow. Internal bleeding. <laughs> there was no signs that he was going to die. That... This dog is Cookie, right? Yeah, this is Cookie. And Cookie looks like he's about to He knocked over the Christmas tree. Did you give him a good beating? Uh, yes, she got a good beating for that one. The picture oh, is dear. Cookie uh, pulling on the lights on the Christmas tree and knocking the tree over, and the boys are, like, freaking out. Uh -huh. And I just can picture it's Scott beating the dog. Yeah, the after a, a party yeah. of that event. She'll pull things off the tree. She'll pull balls and just run around, and she wants you to chase her. And I have no yeah. idea how to deal with that. Well, you're you're not training that dog. I know. At this point, it's over. We're done with what we have. Yeah, yeah, it's I mean, like Marley and me. Seriously, I have a, I have a lab. You know, I had a lab many years. Dog's still alive. Of course, I don't have, I don't have custody of the dog. But the dog never grabbed anything like. I mean, the dog was trained, and we we worked with the dog as a family. And you know what I mean? And what are you doing? The dog is so confused at this point. One minute. You know, I would hit her in the beginning a little bit. Then I stopped that. Then we were using a squirt bottle. Then we had a professional trainer coming over. It's it's lost. Why can't it's, you say no when the dog is pulling the no, tree down? No, does not work. No, but, but it's a very firm no, and, and you correct the dog. I mean, how about some consistency? It sounds like you were all over the place with the dog. You know, it, wa it was. Thanks to you guys, I was all over the place. If I just kept uh, smacking her ass, it would have been cleared up. Yeah, but then they die young. All right, thank you. Hey, by the way, I was listening to Howard 100 News, and, you know, I, I was so nauseated by Scott DePace on there, I had to turn it off. What I, was uh, he doing this I, time? He upsets me. Uh, you know, Brian Phelan got a puppy from North Shore Animal League. Beth brought him in one day, dog named Duncan. Uh, his family renamed it Brownie. Talk about Brian Phelan, our camera operator for Howard TV. And he got a puppy, and, you know, I, I ran in here the other day. I had to record some stuff for Howard TV for some behind-the-scenes stuff we're doing. And I said, hey, Brian, what's going on with the dog? He goes, uh, you know, great, great, the dog's great, but, uh, you know, uh, she keeps shitting in her uh, cage. You know, they, you bring home the dog in right, the cage. Right, the crate thing. In the crate training. He goes, uh, you know, we put the wee-wee pads in there, and then she keeps shitting in there. And I go, Brian, the crate isn't for shitting. You're putting, you don't want the dog to shit in the, in the crate. 
but you're putting wee-wee pads in the crate? Wee-wee pads make dogs pee and shit in there. You're teaching the dog the wrong... I mean, he goes, oh, really? <laughs> <clears throat> I always thought Brian was a pretty bright guy. Well, a lot of people don't understand Robin. dogs at all. But Robin, yes. do a little research if you're bringing a dog into the house. He puts wee-wee pads in the crate? I, mean, I understand what high? you're saying. But very few people, uh, they always, you know, it's much, very few people read the manual. Good Lord, dude. So I just got alarmed and I said, this is a recipe for disaster. He's going to be the guy that goes, I can't have a dog. I got to take it back because it's, uh, it's a bad dog. Yeah. Wow. So I got like fucking wild over it. So I said, look, I, I went to Beth. There's a guy named Greg. What's his name? Cleva? Yeah. Cle uh, Greg, yeah, like that. Greg Cleva. That's a trainer I used, Howard. Yeah. Greg Cleva who works with uh, Beth at North Shore Animal League. He's a top guy. I was going to say retarded dog owners. <laughs> He's going to work with Brian. He agreed, he, he agreed to work with the very retarded Brian Phelan. I have, I ha I've had a dog, and I have three kids. Oh, you I, do? I, I think I am You've had a dog? Yes. Oh, okay. And, and I've had three kids, and I think but I... Why would you put a wee-wee pad in the, in the cage with it? Because I wanted something that it could lay on that would be comfortable. And How about a bed? Like, How about a towel? I do. I have a towel and the wee-wee pad in case he did go the to the wee -wee bathroom. The wee-wee pad doesn't... No. no, no. The wee-wee pad says to the dog, go to the bathroom. How does the dog know that, though? That, it's a scent that they know. It, it, it encourages... First of all, why are you using wee-wee pads? Bring because the dog I was, outside. I, got, I do. Yeah. I, I bought the dog and if home. you're going to put a wee-wee pad somewhere, don't put it in the cage where it sleeps. I didn't. Uh, and once you said that, I said I pulled it right out. All right, out. good. So I figured, look, he needs help. So but you called listen, this guy. So my problem isn't with him, with Brian. Oh, good. No. <laughs> I'm listening to the news, you know, Howard 100 News. And Scott the Pace, I don't know whether it's like an arrogance or, a, or he's trying to be funny on there, but... That's exactly what it is. I don't know, dude. What, You're a fucked up human being. Because people listen to our news, and then they think you might know something. Howard, my this fucking guy goes, not possibly love me more. Anyway, so he goes, uh, he gets on there in his arrogant way, you know, and Mr. Know-it-all. And he goes, uh, he goes to Brian Phelan, my advice, smack that dog, hit that dog on the ass. He's being ridiculous, isn't he? I don't know, but it's just like, yeah, you know, it don't advocate beating a dog. Lunatic. Beating, Got enough people way. who do beat their dogs and beat their kids and do everything else wrong because they're fucking morons. Uh, or impatient or right. whatever. So they Cleva, have issues themselves. The dog trainer Cleva, Greg Cleva, gets on and goes, my, my, my advice would be there are ways to teach your dog things so that the dog isn't afraid of you and you don't want a dog afraid. You want a dog to be loyal to you. By the way, how can I tell you something greg cleva said that what i had done was not wrong he said it's just another method it's all not right. his method all right good greg cleva is trying to work with you because you're a lunatic but anyway you know what why you're doing? can't you take his yes. method then since there's is another method why mm. do you want to smack the dog it took too long because it's I quick done the one thing mm. Oh. Yeah, I, I got the dog going outside. We're kind of on the schedule now. As Good. soon as he eats, I bring him out, he pees and poos, and then I bring him back in. Good. Um, and even time? Yeah, everything's fine. You can you wait know? 20 minutes and then bring him out. Of course, that's right. exactly what I do. Okay. Don't put wee-wee pads in his cage. Right. Well, the only reason I did it was I was looking to make it comfortable. Is it, you know? <laughs> but you knew exactly that, you know, he wasn't taking the dog out at specific times. There was no schedule. The dog's eating and doesn't know when and where he's going no, he, to be. No, I didn't out. know he was doing that. Yeah, no, I, I, I got it. I got it. All right. I got three kids. I can train them. I can train a dog. All right. You know? They don't pee on my rug. I don't rug. know about those kids. Yeah. They don't pee I on my rug. Kids pee on the rug. <laughs> <laughs> they, right. they shit in the lawn just like I So everything going all right with the dog? Yes. The no, dog okay. is awesome. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, Brian Phelps. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Wee wee pads. You see, now what you're going to have to do is every time somebody takes a dog, you're going to have to have them talk to this guy before they get to take it home. That's why this Beth, my wife, with her North Shore Animal League and these adoptions, I don't want to know about it <laughs> because it drives me crazy. Then you become responsible. Yeah, oh, and, it, and I get I, all weekend, I'm like, oh, Brian Phelan doesn't know what he's doing <laughs> with his dog. And you got Scott the Pace on Howard 100 telling people to beat the dog. I mean, oh, it just I, I, it, it drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. Everything drives me crazy. That's why I had to get out. I. I wasn't supposed to resign. <laughs> what is it? Jason uh, has worked with the trainer before, and he said the trainer absolutely advocates a no-hands policy. Of course. And he said, hey, some people do that, but that's not my thing. So somehow Scott is 
morphed it into, it's yeah, fine. Are you the guy that, uh, that uh, shocks your dog with electric fence? You do? I, I, my, my dog has an electric fence, yeah. Oh, I hate that. But I don't beat my dog. My dog loves me. I don't fucking hit him in the face, I knee him in the balls, knee him in the chest. You do. You slap him in the face. You, you knee him in the chest, Scott. You knee him in the chest. You... That was a joke, too, you jerk. No, it wasn't. That you was... said the trainer told you to knee him in the chest. No, he didn't. Yes, you did. You're mixing up the facts. I'm not mixing up the facts. You said on the wrap-up show. A knee to the chest sometimes no, gets him down. The joke was when the dog keeps jumping up on you, hold their front paws and knee him in the chest. Wait, that's that a... was a joke. Oh. I would never do that. Oh, really? It's hard to tell. I've dogs my whole life. Just because you guys do things a little differently, don't worry about it. My dog loves but me. Did, did your trainer say that it was okay, that guy, Greg? Or did you just sort of make it that way so you sound he's, right? He says he's said everything that. is a joke. I know. And it's not. God, he said that's not his way to do it. Right. But so you, hold on, stop, stop, stop. stop. You he just said he advocated it, and he doesn't. Remember, he also gave me uh, chain links in a bag to throw at the dog when it did something no, I No, you don't throw it at the dog. You make a loud right. noise. Right. He said noise. My goodness. He said you can hit the dog in the No, feet. he no. didn't. Yes, he did. Get out clear, of here. He that interprets guy, everything. guy does not mean hit any dog in the feet. I know the guy. He interprets everything the way he wants, right. which is like life in general for him. Get him in here. I swear to God. Give him a lie detector. <laughs> a lie detector. Everybody wants a lie detector. You guys, I'm the know-it-all. You guys are the know-it-alls. Listen to you. You're no, nah, you don't listen it. to anybody, dude. I'm doing dude. 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 It just is odd that somebody would prefer to, to hit a dog if there was some other way to train them. Yeah. Dude. Uh, no, but this is a person, you, you're, aren't you the one that adopted a cat so you could take dude. a liver for another one? Yeah, a liver. So. Or a kidney or whatever the hell? All right, I don't want to get into a long it's thing. so hysterical. Yeah, I took it right. myself. Right. I think that's disgusting. I don't know. Nor do I want to have the conversation with my wife. If, if I... <laughs> you don't think you should discuss with her ahead of time? <laughs> I don't think so. But a conversation I do want to have here is Howard said he spent all weekend upset over not Phelan putting wee-wee pads in his puppy's crate, because that's one thing, but rather the comments that Scott DePace made to the Howard 100 News about smacking the dog around. I didn't hear it. I don't know what he said. But it seemed like uh, Howard was was genuinely upset over it. Well, there's two things I want to talk about there. We'll talk about what Scott said, but first, you know, this is uh, one of those things that Howard. I wish he could learn to not do. You know, there's a dog from North Shore Animal League, and Beth was trying to help get the dog a home, and one of our guys took it, and that's great. And, and after that, it's okay. But Howard feels his responsibility for the whole process. Which he really shouldn't have to. He's already done enough to bring the two parties together. You know, if Brian Phelan doesn't do his job correctly, it doesn't reflect bad on Howard. Yet he feels that way, and I, I feel bad for him. But Howard, that just, it just it makes him crazy. But he's just not that kind of guy. He 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 cares, and he cares what's happening with this dog. But for you a couple can't take, of reasons. You can't take responsibility for for everything, and I feel like he takes a lot of responsibility for stuff that he can't control to the point where he it really. Um, sort of helps him not be as happy as he could be. Yeah, well, he did say that he wishes Beth didn't do it almost because then he wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. But the issue really wasn't with Phelan and what he was doing. It was more, although that was part of the issue, it was more what Scott said. And then when you were in there, it took about three seconds for you to light up on the pace. You were, you got I, into it really quickly. He he just said, no, I, all I went in there to say was, your, Scott said, the trainer I work with said it's okay to hit a dog, which is just not the truth. So then he took a shot at me, and then I went you back. But I wasn't there. looking. You weren't at my house when I was talking to I you. I know that Jason were. You, actually, this is really more, God's honest truth, more between you and Jason. Yeah, and of because, course. I, because Jason's telling me what he did. I, in other words, sometimes people tell me stuff, and I go in as the representative. So you so were Jason, saying what Jason had told you. Jason worked with this particular trainer. So, again, I'm, I'm, I, again yeah. I didn't work with the guy. So Training Jason, like a cat. Jason should come in. No, training his dog. No. And Jason said that the trainer said he's a no-hands trainer, meaning you don't hit or touch the dog in any way. And DePace is saying that's not the truth. Look, so my wife I, was I, there, so, you know, if we need a corroboration but wait, of the but story. You, but you guys didn't say opposite things. Well, no, he did, because he's saying it's okay to hit a dog. He said, no, 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 he said, Scott said the trainer said that it's not his method. Right. He doesn't, he, he's accepting of it. And, in fact, everything he, all of his training had to do with Dominus. It all had to do with, you know, when you go out a door, you make sure you go out first. When you put his food in the bowl, 
make sure he doesn't eat until you tell him it's time. Well, listen, there's a lot. Dom, there's a big difference between dominance and physical. You know, use a physical Look, force. This all comes down to whether you think hitting, slapping a dog on the ass a couple of times to train them is cruel. I don't see how it is. My dog plays with other dogs, and they're they're constantly biting each other. Isn't that a lot worse than just a little pat on the ass? I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to get into we it. We got to ask. It's, 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 it's really it's not they're, my fight for me and you. So I'm not going to get into Scott, they're it. they're dogs. They they don't know <laughs> yeah. about patting on the ass. Well, I'm just saying, if if it's about pain, then we, they, yes, you just said it. They're dogs, so I think they can handle the little bit of pain that they're that they're but, actually getting. I don't think but they're why getting do, any. Why do you think they can handle it? Like, what gives you that idea? Well, I'm just saying their threshold must be pretty high. Whenever the dog bites me, I want to just jump out a window. It hurts. So. They're, they're biting each other. That must be okay. No, my point is that the dogs don't know any better. They, they don't think, well, if I hit you... Exactly. Then... So then why are you putting the human trait that it's cruel when I slap them on the ass? Because you're, you're a human. human. You're a but human. But they're not. Thank you for but pointing wait, wait, that wait, out. But Scott, you, you got to think about what you just said for a second. Do you think a dog feels pain? Yeah, probably, but I, I do. You, do yeah. you think that they might feel yeah. pain when they're they, they they might feel pain when they're bit? Also, do you think they might if they could? Do you think they, they would, to would enjoy avoid it. to be okay? That, they they keep going at it. They keep playing and, and going <laughs> at it. Let's, you really hold let's, on a second. Wait, you know anything about animals? They don't bite down as hard as they can. That that's how dogs play. They don't have hands. Dude, what are you a dog? Yeah, I'm a dog. That that's that's how I know what dogs are like because that's the only way but, you can understand really, a dog. You just came dogs? out like you're some dog expert. What the yeah, hell? Well, you? I own a dog. I watch them play. I've had dogs my whole life. Dogs don't go and they bite each other as hard as they can, you idiot. They, I'm they... telling you that when they bite, because I'll put my hand in there. Your it dog hurts. bites you. If you put your hand out, then there's something wrong with your dog. It's not. He's not you, you chomping down trying to draw blood. But in the in the midst, yeah, it hurts a well, lot. Well, there's something wrong with your dog. I don't know what to tell what you. you. Any, what you, uh, all right, I'll, I won't use words. Uh, what you guys. You won't use words? I won't use uh, d- uh, terms to communicate uh, telepathically over here. <laughs> Hold on, Jason. So, so here it goes into the Jason p- piece of shit vortex. What happened? Just, oh, those are words, it sounds like. Scott, finish your point. <laughs> finish your point. God, I hate you. You're I know, it makes like me so happy. Asshole. <laughs> It's funny, so many people tell me when they hear you, they've got to just turn it off. Well, it's funny because I hear that about you sometimes. I hear about both. I hear about both. I don't. So no one's listening now, so finish your point. In your pink shirt, please continue. (laughs) Jason, let him talk. You're 350 pounds, you fat whale. (laughs) Keep wearing your pink shirt. Good. Your point. I I forget what I was talking about. All right, then let's take You were saying when a dog chops down, you hurt your your hand. Yeah. So (laughs) apparently they must have a threshold for pain. I don't think what I did is at all cruel. I don't sit there. My dog loves me. Sleeps on my bed. Oh, listen to that laugh. My dog sleeps on my bed every night. The dog loves when I come in at home. The dog loves me. They're, just because you guys have a different training method, don't say mine is cruel. Let's take a step back here, Scott. Ridiculous. What did you say to the news that Howard got so pissed off about? I was merely joking. Brian was going through the training of uh, you know how you put a dog in a crate. And he didn't know exactly how to do that. He put the wee-wee pad in there. and it, it, So I just said, as a joke, well, maybe you should just smack her on the ass. And that turned into Howard, you know. All right, so I, I got a question for you. Answer what Howard said today. How do you answer the, the allegation that a lot of your jokes are misinterpreted? Well, I, you guys are dumb. I don't know. No, I have no idea. No I don't, words, I don't know. Scott. Come on, man. I have no, no idea. because Howard says a lot of times That's when not my fault. a lot of times when when you say stuff and then people call you on it, you go, "I was joking," and I guess a lot of people don't get the joke. It is a comedy show here, isn't it? I don't know. We're, we're, I mean, we're not doing a what, comedy maybe show. Maybe I'm too about, good. Maybe I'm Scott, too, Scott. such a straight guy. And I'm not saying I'm, I, I'm against the position. <laughs> you say that slapping the ass is okay. Yeah. But then you're saying it's a joke when you well, said it. Well, how I said it, I was joking. If you listen to it, I uh, think it's pretty obvious that I was joking. Brian Fallon was he joking? I think he was joking. Yeah, he tries to, you know, add comedy into the conversation. But, yeah, a lot of people don't get his jokes, that's for sure. <laughs> so did you think Howard was pissed off at you this morning? Yeah, he was yelling at me the other day. So uh, he actually had Ronnie come in and yell at me, too. So I thought I was going to be in a lot of trouble. But then it turned and went on to Scott, which well, was great. What do you mean he had Ronnie come in to yell at you? Because he, he told me I didn't know what I was doing. Because, uh, you know, I put the wee-wee pad in the, in the crate, and you're not supposed to do that. That's where they sleep. And uh, he goes, you know, you don't know what you're doing. I got to get your trainer, blah, blah, blah. I'll get you the number. And then he went outside and saw Ronnie. He's like, Ronnie, he doesn't know what he's doing. Go in there and yell at him. Tell him what to do. So then Ronnie came in and started yelling at me like I didn't know what I was going to, you know, 
Like, I have three kids, and I had a dog before. I, I know how to train something, you know? So I just took like it everyone's as... everyone's got uh, their own way. I don't yeah. understand this. I was it's expecting so, more, but, you know, it's so you do, the Scott. So you just disagree with Howard's method. Yeah, and Howard on the air this morning tried to say that I'm the know-it-all. Well, who the hell is he then? Right? If he's saying my method's wrong, why, I never said that his method was wrong. It's to each their own. Do I would say, I would say he, he's a little bit more of a know-it-all just in the sense that his wife spends a great deal of time with animals. Okay, maybe and recently, with, but with a I've lot. had dogs my whole life. He didn't grow up with animals. Yeah, but, but, I probably just you, had ten dogs. Just because you've had them your whole life doesn't mean that everything you're doing with them is correct. It just means you've had them. I, but, I mean, I, everybody, but there's a track record of success. I know how to get a dog to stop peeing in the house. Well, that's but, what, everybody but, but how has, do you get that reaction? How do you get to getting a dog? Who cares? But th that's, that's what I think I would start with. You can get... You can, Train a dog by taking him outside, or every time he pees, you can hit him over the nose with a newspaper. You're going to get the same result, but different ways. Yeah, and one of them, I, I think, really I would care. disagree with. <laughs> All right. I, I, to me, it's it, the dog is not hurt forever, and it's not barely even hurt at that moment. Then why wouldn't you, every so, time your kid pees in a diaper, why would you hit him over the face with a paper? Because my kid is a human, for one. But He's they, not they a dog. And I'm trying to, and, and I yeah. I was never uh, shown that to be an effective method. I think that I'm sure your kid has a threshold for pain. <laughs> I think there's a philosophy there. I think because I hear this with Will a lot too. Will grew up with a lot of animals, and his whole rap is, listen, I love dogs and stuff, but they're fucking dogs. And some people right. feel a different way about them. And I think that's there's a different philosophy there. So do you think Howard's method's wrong or just different? no, just different? I, w I wouldn't uh, have the patience to sit there and yell no for, for months until it finally worked. It's, it doesn't take months. Jason, I'm did, sure. did all I... of the training methods that were that uh, I was trying, it was like, oh, you've got, you've got two hours of homework each day. I'm just not going to do it. Jason, did anything get lost in translation when Gary came in and sort of said what you had told him? No, to in fact, the guy, because I had watched a dog before Greg. Cleaver from Barkbusters came over. I had watched the Dog Whisper. I still watch the Dog Whisper, and the Dog Whisper is a little bit hands on. He doesn't hit the dog, but what he does is to simulate where the mom would nip the dog, like in the neck, you know, to give him a little. He does a little poke in the neck, like, you know, and, and touch him in the neck. Back of the neck. And, and it's not a hit, very or anything. There. And I was talking to Greg about that, and I said, you know, I was a little uneasy with that because I always heard you're not supposed to touch the dogs. And he said, no, I have a hand. He goes, I have no problem. You know, it's not his method, and that he has a completely and utterly hands off method. Of, of dealing with the dog. That, that was the opening line of our conversation about how to train a dog. And n there's nothing inaccurate there. All I'm saying is what he said to me, I described what I had done, and he said there's nothing wrong with that either. It's just not my method. So, you know. Were you surprised how Gary reacted to when you chimed in this morning? Yeah, he got very angry when I just brought out some facts that Gary has an electric fence. And to me, uh, an electric fence is a little more harsh than slapping on the ass. A lot more harsh. My dog doesn't even wear an electric collar anymore. Well, but he, he certainly had to at one point. Yes, he did. So it's a pretty common that's listen, rule. It's a, it's a common tactic. In a, I guarantee you my tactic is more common than your electric fence. Well, okay, why, why did they stop wearing Why yeah. did they stop wearing it, Because he just knows now. Yeah, he got, but is it because he got shocked you've, enough. You've, would you do it again if you got a new dog? Would you? Do... I think I would. You know what? It's it's. I live in a neighborhood where there's a lot of cars that go by. Cool. I have a very very active dog. You know what I mean? And I don't want him running into the street and get run over by a car. I'll tell you too. Would you I think put that's an cool. electric collar on Mary, Mary if she became a man? Sure. We just got new couches, and uh, my wife didn't want the dog for once to be on the couch. And normally, you know, Cookie the dog had always been on the couch. So suddenly we had to train her a new way. So she found these electric pads that give you a little shock. Dog did it once, hasn't been up there again. Oh, so you shot the dog too, and you're making fun of Gary? Oh, I know exactly. I'm just I'm pointing out that he's a hypocrite. Well, how, does that, how does that work? You get like <laughs> he's a, a hypocrite. That's well, all. So I'm are saying. you then if you're making fun of Gary for no, shocking his I'm, dog, and you do the same thing? No, you Scott is right, and you're no, wrong. I have no. I could care less. Yeah. I put electric fence up too. Wait, Scott, you. So these are electric pads that you put on yeah. the couch. Put on the couch. And so I got the shocked dog, by it twice. So if the dog jumps up, so if the dog jumps up on it, it shocks him. Right. And right. you got shocked? Yeah, I got shocked twice. And your kids? Get my shocked? kids got shocked. My my one son had his hand; he was laying on it. It was turned off, and the other kid came over and turned it off. Oh my god! <laughs> it got him. How well, strong of a shock treat, is your kids treat each other like dogs? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, you know, it's it's, I don't know. It doesn't hurt. That Threshold much. for pain. Rich in Carolina, you're on the wrap up show. Hey guys, uh, you guys usually rip on Scott the Pace, but I usually defend him. But I think in this case, he's he's very wrong. Uh, the main reason why I don't want to be beating your dog is just the same reason why my brother, when his when his dog does something wrong, he kicks him. He really See? does it aggressively. But guess what? 
his 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 daughter shows you know his his daughter is now learning that it's okay to hit you know so but I mean, sir wouldn't you amazing. wouldn't you say that what you described right. wouldn't you say what you described is a little more than what I did I merely slapped the dog in the ass like four or five times not very hard I never kicked her you well we don't know you hold on we don't know that to be the case well, I've described that's what you that's what you times, tell us. Are you telling I would like to see documentation. On the couch, you're not going to whack the hell out of it. Give me a break. No, I, I'm not. I push it off. I push it me, off. Me, you need it. Well, you need it. Me taking no, your. No, that's the bunch of crap too. You that said was... it on the show. You said when a dog jumps up that you need it. And I don't think you were was... kidding that day. <laughs> yes, it was a joke. Someone yeah. said what you do is uh, that was one method. The other one was to step on the back uh, foot while it's back while you're foot? holding the front. You'll hear a dog yelp <laughs> and you'll hear about their threshold. I, I got to say, me asking for documentation that you, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that you hit your dog any more than you don't know that Obama's birth certificate is real. In other words, I'll take your word at it. Well, you took my word that I hit her in the first place. I I think you. But so how do I know? You take how do if you, if you admit to hitting your dog? How do I know what level you're really telling the truth about? Well, then you might have shocked your dog ten or twelve times. Maybe I have. Yeah, let me have documentation on it. David Long Island, you're on the wrap up show. Yeah. Um. One thing I wanted to. Oh, sorry. All right, Dave's gone. Let's try. Almost Bron shocked, Dave. Let's try Brian in Iowa. Brian, you're on the wrap up show. Hey guys, long time listener. Hey Brian. I have to disagree with Scott on this. I've been raised with dogs. I'm 28 years old, and I've been raised with dogs since I was one years old. And I have grown German Shepherds to Huskies, the two wildest, you know, the most energetic dogs. And they are known to retaliate when you smack them on the <laughs> butt. And I, my 28 years, I have seen dog turn. I've actually been attacked by two of them. Well, maybe you did it too hard. Look, this all comes down to personal preference. I don't have any experience with a dog ever came after me, so it's working. It's fine. But you did say seriously, you, you did say your dog bites your hand and it hurts. Like I don't have that experience with my dog, so Casey, I'm wondering you why your dog bites your hand. That's because you've got a little piece of shit, horrible, d nothing dog. My dog is a yellow lab, and when they're playing okay, around with each other, and you put your hand in the middle, you feel it too. I've played with big, cool, real dogs before, and I again, I don't know anyone who goes around and gets bitten by dogs because your hand is so fat you can't feel it. Why is oh, yeah, this dog a, a piece of shit dog? <laughs> that must what be is, it. What, you know what is talking, it? A little girly dog, little little. <laughs> I've never seen this dog. <laughs> right? What? It's a little white dog. Yeah, I live in an apartment. That's uh, what you do when you live in an apartment. You get small dogs. <laughs> Man, I love my dog. My you dog's can do awesome. it. You can do my it dog doesn't just though. up and die, and I don't hit it. And, you know. <laughs> well, John, my head doesn't look like a giant daughters. penis. What's that? You have two daughters. That's yes, why you yes. Little, like, they they wanted the Jason little. Jason has no excuse. John, do you hit your little... dog? No. Why not? Yeah. Uh, why don't you hit your dog? Well, I don't know how high her pain threshold is, <laughs> so I'm not really sure. <laughs> no, I just I wouldn't. Did you train your dog? Yes. Scott can make it. Uh, a bunch of different ways, through food and, and, you know, taking stuff away, putting her in the crate, taking her out of the crate, stuff like that. Scott can make all the jokes he wants, but if he could command respect at all, he wouldn't need to hit a dog. I mean, that's really what it comes that's down stupid. to. If the dog respects you, respects your voice, and respects the, the tone that you talk to it in, you don't need to hit it. You're that's, not man enough. very intelligent, Jason. You're not man enough to be able to not hit your dog. But Brian, very sad. But, Brian, it ain't easy. I mean, it's like no, having right. a kid all over again. Man, totally. If you get one from, believe me, it's been a tough uh, ten months. Jason in Southampton, you're on the wrap-up show. Hey now. Hey now. Uh, maybe I could uh, help out. I've been training dogs for 20 years and put put this to rest, but it's so typical of a guy who <laughs> thinks he knows everything about everything. <laughs> you train. Are you talking about Jason? Of... He's yeah, a dog trainer. Does. This guy does this for a living. Shut up. Hold on. Let, let Jason talk. Jason, go. Uh, there's lots and lots of methods, right? We all know that. You're training. Scott DePace is training a house pet. When training a house pet, it is there's documentation <laughs> that the dogs. Spend every waking second trying to bond with you and build that level of trust. As soon as you break that level of trust, as soon as you crack it, even the littlest bit, the dog becomes less trained. You're, you're, you're defying the trust that the dog needs from you. He needs you as that leader. Let's cut to the chase here. Why, does, why did it work? Why does my dog not pee in the house right now? Uh, all dogs get it. They all get it. It's just a matter of the, the bond that you want to have with that dog. If you, when, when My you bond's pretty to good. To you, when you tell your dog to come to you in a life or death situation, and your dog decides that you're angry and doesn't want to come to you, <laughs> yeah. that's, you're, you're gonna, my your dog's dog, not going to save my life, whereas Jason's will? Don't, Is that what you're you saying? laugh now, but it happens all the time. You yeah, need right. to have that trust always. You can't break it. You shouldn't break it. You're not training a, uh, uh, you know, a, a field dog. You're training a house pet. 
Um, you can't sorry, believe that go I'm the one who knows everything here. You got I mean, I'm not the one putting my views on you. You guys are putting your views on can, me. Can you really not believe that you're the one that knows everything? Well, I I do know that I'm pretty intelligent. Yes, but I can't believe that you don't I'm, believe that. But there's nothing that's that's said amongst you morons are going to change my opinion about this. I agree. I, I'm just. I, right. I agree that. I think like when you here's like when I hear you say something like I've been doing this for 30 years. I've had dogs. Listen, we used to drive in cars without seatbelts. Now they have seatbelts. So as time goes on, people learn things and they change. <laughs> J Jason, wait. Yeah. yeah. Is, is Scott? Is Scott's dog? Okay, shut that dog up. Yeah, you got to smack gotta, that dog. Train your dog. Uh, well, I, hold on. One second. He's not very well trained. He's got 30 of them, okay? Is, okay. Scott, is Scott's dog obeying him out of fear? <laughs> Bite him. Scott's dog is going to listen either way. All, the dogs are going to always figure out what your, what your needs are. But, but it's just... It's, 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 it's a method, method. There's so many methods. However, just, and yours don't when work. You the, when you put, sorry, when you put the guys, guys, hey, 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 you're gonna get to eat alive. I do this all, all day. Every, hey. Like right now, right now, right now, I'm squirting them with a little water pistol. Right? They don't know so much. Oh, it's that's me. cruel. They don't know that it's so much. It's me. They just think that it's their behavior that's doing it. And then I reward them when they stop. So that whole electric fence thing, let's put that to rest also. That's a remote correction, a correction that comes from the activity of the dog, not from the owner, not from the, 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 the person. So that's why it works, because they think their actions caused it. Well, as soon as they think you did it to them, you become the bad guy in their eyes. Why would the dog be cognizant of you hitting them, but not cognizant that of the you're holding well, something? Well, you'd, really you'd have to really put You'd have to really. You'd have to. You'd have to hit him in the back of the butt. Put your hands behind your back. No. and Look at them and say, "What happened? What happened?" And no. Really listen, Benji just brought a good point. You're avoiding here. So when you right. squirt him, he's looking at you, and he he obviously says, "Oh, that I, guy's a jerk. He squirted me." First of all, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Second of all, the. The the dog's activity is at such a high level. It's like when Howard says you does that little voice. It's not the voice that Howard uses all the time. So it's just, it's it's a, it's it becomes. Well, I don't hit like, him all the time either. The, it, uh, the, the, the hitting thing is so it, it's so against what the dog needs that it just it, it kind of moves away from you. You want your dog to move towards you and 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 you need you get... for security. <laughs> All right, Jason, I think you made your point here, and Scott's listening, but he's well, not—he's going to do what he wants to do. I actually asked the guy from Barkbuster that same exact question, if I could do, about the water bottle, because he does the water bottle thing. And I said, what's the difference between this and the hand? And he said that the dog doesn't make, doesn't, can't tell the, like, he can't, he can't, make to him it's a water bottle. When you go at him with your hand to, in, in anger or hurt him or whatever, then any time you go at him with your hand to pet him or to give him food, it's the same, it, it, you get scared of the hand. That's what he's focusing on. Holding the water bottle, they don't make right. that connection. Is right. that why my dog comes up to me every day to be I, pet? I'm just telling you what the guy said. All right, hold on, guys. we got to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll finish this up. We'll get to Jimmy Kimmel. We'll get to Ted Nugent. We'll talk about everything on the wrap-up show, which you're listening to on Howard 100 and Howard 100.com.